Hi, this is Kate from Isalicious Designs. I wanted to show you today a little little design that I've come up with um, for, well, this is actually a coaster. I've done these as little coasters. This is my little Halloween coaster. And then I've done it um, in rainbow colours as well. This one I sort of thought was a bit like a, a daisy. And then this one I've done, I've, I've actually stopped and I haven't done the extra bit on the outside and I think it sort of looks a little bit like a little Christmas wreath and this is what I'm going to do today I'm going to show you how to do this and leave it at this stage but then also I'm going to show you how you can expand it out so that it looks like the full coaster these are all single banded so it looks quite quite nice um, with a single band only but to make it sturdier you can also double band and that looks very nice as well I quite like that when you double band it comes out a little bit larger but I do like the feel of it when it's double banded this again is, is another rainbow one um, that I've done it feels it's heavier obviously you use twice the amount of bands um, but again a nice option so that's what I'm going to do today I'm going to show you how to make these now the other thing is this can just be a precursor to something that you're, you're going to make um, bigger and I've been working this is a work in progress which I've started and this is in yarn I haven't done it with um, the bands yet but I plan to so I've started with this first little part here as you can see and then I've just expanded it out and I'm creating something different so you'll see about that so this is sort of something that you can make bigger you can make it really big and make it a placemat for your tableware or anything like that so what we're going to do um, it is hook only and we are going to start by doing a magic ring but our magic ring this time is going to be a little bit different we're going to first of all do it on our hook but we're also going to make it so that it's a little bit larger than our normal magic ring so let's get started with that the colors as I said I'm going to do the Christmas one um, but you could do a Halloweeny one you can do whatever colors you like really I'm going to do the dark green the red and the gold so let's get started so I'm starting my magic ring using green and I'm using the dark green from rainbow loom what I'm going to do place it on my hook and I'm just going to twist it once into a figure eight like that on my hook let me zoom in just a little bit so that you can see exactly what I'm doing now what we're going to be doing is a double crochet instead of a single crochet so I'm going to hold this and I'm going to put my first band through okay and then I'm going to put a second band through in a chain and then I'm going to do a third band through in a chain like that so there's my little end cap and I've chained three I'm going back into my little end cap and I'm going to chain one through it and then I'm going to take another band and I'm going to pull it through and then I'm going to add the loop closest to the end of my hook onto that and reclaim and then take another band and join all three of these together that is stitch number one and two is on my hook go back through we want 12 of these go back through that first one and if you like we've got two so you can count out another 10 bands four five six seven eight nine ten just so that you don't forget how many you're doing so again pull through take a second band pull it through the first loop the first band and then add this little loop from the other band to it and with another band join all three together back through your little end cap here and we'll do another one here so the first band I'm always taking from this pile here take a second band pull it through that that band then through the first loop of your second band and join together back through your magic ring or your end cap and we will continue this until we've got 12 in a magic ring back 
through again. So there's your first one. Pull this through the first three loops, leaving that fourth one there. Now you've got another three loops here. And you're going to pull a band through those three. And again. Three loops. And three loops. Back through that center. Three loops. And three loops. Three loops. And three loops. Now the stitch that we're actually going to be doing after this is a puff stitch. This is our last one. So let's just count, okay? We have now obviously we we we've got in we're doing a double, so there's one and two. These are the actual chain. So this is our first stitch. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven and 12 is on our hook. We're going to put our hook through that first stitch, okay? And with a single band, we're going to pull all of those through together like this, okay? And then we're gonna go one over the other in a slip stitch. Now, this is where we get to choose the colors that we're using. As I said, I'm going to use the gold. This is the Rainbow Loom Champagne Gold and just the Rainbow Loom Opaque Red. So you're going to take your hook and you're going to go through the first stitch. With your first red band you're going to pull it through and add that little green loop to it like so and reclaim. You're going to go back through that green first stitch and with a second red band you will pull it through. You're going to do the same again. Go through that first stitch and pull it through like so. So you have three red bands sitting together on your hook, okay, and they're not looped or knotted in any way, all right, they're just sitting there like this. Um, now this is what is going to make the little puff stitch, okay, now normally with crochet you would do four, you have, you end up with nine little loops actually, eight or nine little loops here, we're only going to do the three bands, which gives us one, two, three, four, five, and six. Now we're going to take a green band. Now this is called a puff stitch, or it's also called a cluster stitch. Take a green band and pull it through all of them. Okay? Now normally, if you were going to do this so that it would come up, you would do, you just do your little chain like this, your single crochet, and you carry on. We're not doing that because we want it to be flat. What we're going to do is keep it on our hook like this and we're going to chain two. So one and two. So you end up after your puff stitch with the, the little green band that goes through it. So one and then chain one and two. So you've got three green bands afterwards. You're then going back well, not back, you're going into your second stitch and I'm going to choose gold this time, I'm going to alternate and I'm going to choose to do one, back in again two, and back in again three and, I'm, and I've still got these on here I'm going to take a green band and I'm going to pull it through all of those green all of those gold, gosh I can't even say the right colours, and then I'm going to pull it through these two green loops as well, 
and reclaim like that and then I'm going to chain one and two. I'm going into the third stitch and I'm doing red. Now the reason we don't just take three bands like this and pull it through is that does not look the same. It doesn't look nice, okay? So we do them one at a time and it gives a better look to it. So one, you've got that little twist, I think that's what does it. Two, and then back for the third one. Three, take your green band, pull it through, pull it through the two green loops, reclaim, and then chain one and two. Go back, we're going to pull through three gold, take a green, pull it through all of them, and we chain two. Let's do this all the way round. I'll go a little bit faster so we don't take as much time. As I said, you can do whatever colour you want. It really doesn't matter. I love to see all the colour combinations you guys come up with. Not looking at you, Holly. <laughs> Oops, let's twist that. There we go. And this really is a versatile little um, design. Puff stitches are very cute to make something look just a little bit prettier than just the bland old single crochet. Oops, through. We're not chaining that one. Oopsie. Let's try that again. Try not to stretch them too much, but it's a little bit unavoidable. <laughs> um, but just be mindful that you don't want to overstretch if you can help it. Luckily with bands they do go back into shape for the most part. I 
and we'll do gold here. Now, this is the my last one. I'm going to take a single and chain it through. And then I'm going to go through this one, which is my first stitch, okay? And I'm going to pull a slip stitch through like that, okay? Now, I'm not going to tie this off just yet. If you wanted to use it as an ornament, um, you know, sort of like a little Christmas wreath or something like that. You could actually tie it off here where you could do a little chain with some silver and you can hang it on your Christmas tree or something like that. If you want to continue and do something a little larger, we can do this extra step, which I think looks rather nice and makes a very nice coaster. And as I said, you don't have to single band this, you can double band it. Um, you would still do three for the little pieces, the little puff stitch, but the um, main magic ring and then this outer bit that we're just about to do, you would do with double bands. But I think this looks quite nice with single bands too. Now, depending on the colour you want, uh, with this one, I did all white and this one I did all black. This one, I did a chain of orange, a chain of the lighter orange and a chain of black. And I alternated it like that to make it look quite pretty. Again, it's up to you how you want to do it. So what I'm going to do, if um, I, I want to do this one, you want to look for the little space between where the puff stitches are, okay? So we need to travel across one to get to it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave these like this, unhooked, un unknotted. I want to travel across, this is a join here. So what I want to do is really get to this space here next to me. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go through this stitch. So it's the stitch that I'm in with one side. I'm just going to travel across with a single band go through all of those like this and I'm going to chain one and two okay then I'm going to go into this space and I'm going to alternate the colors so I'm going to use red this time I'm going to go one and we're doing double crochets so the second band comes through and joins into that first one here and then take another red and join. Now I'm going to do gold. I have no idea what this will look like. We'll see. One. And I'm in that space. All of this is happening in that space. It's not going through the stitches. And I'm going through three little loops. And then I've got three on my hook. I'll go through the three little loops. Like so. And this is how we alternate. Okay. And then I'm going to take a green and do one chain. And then I'm going into this next loop, not through the stitches. So push my hook through the, the loop and I'm going to chain one. The second band, I'm going to pull it through the three loops. And then I'm going to take another band, green, and pull it through. And then I'm going back through that space and I'm going to do my red. Oh, that's a silly band. Let's get that out of the way. So my first red, my second red is going to go through those three loops, my third red is going through those three loops. Back in that same space and I'm doing gold. My first band, my second band goes through the three loops, my third band will go through these three loops and then I'm going to chain one in green. To see how this is forming. So then I go into this next space which is here between the two, the, the red puff and the gold puff, in through that space, not through the stitch, through the space. And I'm with green, first band, second band goes through three loops, third band goes through three loops. Back through that space we're doing red first band. Second band goes through the first three loops. Third band 
go through the last three loops, change to gold into that space again. First gold, second gold, third gold, and we'll chain with a green one. So see how that's starting to look? Okay, and you don't have to do it alternating colours like this. You could do it all green or all gold or wh whatever colour you like, really. really doesn't matter. So I'm going to go all the way around and I will meet you back when we get to the last, just the last stitch here. And I'll show you what we're going to do, okay? So as you can see, I've gone all the way around. I'm back at my last one. I've done my one chain in the green and what I need to do now is attach it. Now we were doing double crochets so we've got the one and the two. This little third green is what we go through. I'm taking another green and I'm going to go through all the loops and tie it off in a slip knot like this. And then I'm going to hide that little tie off band here after I make sure it's nice and tight. I'm going to tie that off. Now, if you wanted to use it as a decoration, I think it's a little bit big for a Christmas tree, but you could, I suppose. You could always just use that to hang on a branch, but I, I probably wouldn't. I would probably just go through these green bands because you don't want to muddle it up too much with the other colours. Go through the green bands and pull that tie-off band back down inside between the loops where you can, like that. And obviously if something's poking out, poke it back in again. And just try and hide it. There we go in there so that you cannot see where the join is. So that's what I did and I actually do rather like it as a little standalone wreath and you just tie that off as your tie off band itself. But if you're after coasters, that's quite a festive little coaster for Christmas and I think this is a rather nice one for Halloween and then for every day, my little, my little one, she is absolutely beside herself about rainbows she loves rainbows so i had to do rainbow one for her desk so there we go i hope you enjoy and as i said it can uh, be turned into let me move this something a bit bigger as you go around again but i'll show you that little work in progress later hope you enjoy take care bye